Good day to you, one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Ah! Oh, how comes he's got that vest on? Well, I'll tell you, I'm covering Louis Capaldi today. Um, I should have just worn pants, but I'm actually going commando this afternoon because uh, doing a bit of laundry and um, my pants are in the wash. Anyway, let's get stuck into it. Uh, Lewis Capaldi has got a new song. It's called Forget Me. It came out on the 12th of September, but it's got a brilliant video, which appears to be a shot-for-shot -shot remake of the Club Tropicana video by Wham. Justin Hawkins rides again. Give it a wobble. Again. So yeah, here's some uh, comments re uh, reacting to the Lewis Capaldi song. Joss Ward says, This man really just wrote one of the most heart-wrenching songs I've ever heard and in the music video is sitting drinking a Cosmo by the pool. He has no remorse. <laughs> That's a great comment, actually. Natalie Jane Wright says, He seriously is one of the most genuine artists out there. There's no bullshit with him. His powerful voice and how funny he is, it's impossible to not love him. Um, yeah, I completely agree with those things. I love I love Lewis Capaldi. We were lucky enough to play with Lewis Capaldi at the um, um, Ed Sheeran concerts at uh, Leeds and Ipswich. Somewhat of a homecoming for us. It was just down the road from Lowestoft where we grew up. Um, and for some weird reason, I don't know how this happened, but we ended up playing after Lewis Capaldi. And he had, in fact, been one of the biggest selling artists of the year up to that point. <laughs> and there was some confusion, you know, not least amongst the, us, you know, um, as to why the bill was such. But uh, he was very gracious about it and a really nice guy. And obviously hilarious and super talented too. Lewis is a... Scottish singer-songwriter. In 2019, he released his debut album, Divinely Uninspired to a Hellish Extent, which remained at the top of the UK albums chart for six weeks. It later went on to become the best-selling album of 2019 and 20 in the UK. But let's have a look at the video. Oh, it's exciting stuff, isn't it? A man in his pants. What could be better? Now, YouTube is telling me to go on holiday. Ah. Fuck it off with you. Stratos, anti hair wrap plus to grip and capture all types of hair. Uh, and then a special, um, a special hoover that picks up hair that's been shed. Targeted advertising. I need a holiday because my hair's falling out. Is that what it is? Days aching, nights are long, two years and still you're not gone. Guess I'm still holding on. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Again, it's an ostinato. Um, I'll explain why. Drag man in through the dirt, somehow it doesn't hurt though. So you can see that the, the, the ostinato itself is this big. And it repeats, but the chords change. So it starts off with E to its relative minor, C sharp minor, and then to B. And then it goes A, and that's where the ostinato starts again. So, to this lovely C sharp minor, and then back to the B. Soldier friends, you want me dead and said that I did everything wrong. The melody changes at that point. I think it goes to like an F, F sharp or something, and then C sharp. So even though like <clears throat> the most prevalent chord in this whole thing is a B, interestingly, I think the key of it is probably E major. You know, I, I was talking about other uh, recent releases uh, from from artists uh, in the last few days that um, seem to rely heavily on the sort of pentaton. But this Lewis Capaldi thing's a bit cleverer than that, I think, because he's sort of going. And so he's already using these these little sort of one semitone intervals that don't sit in a pentatonic scale. It's more delicate, spidery, isn't it? It's kind of just a bit cleverer, I think. The way he's sort of weaving his melody, there's more there's more interesting intervals in play. And then when he goes to like this refrain here. It 
has this kind of a moment of naivety melodically that, that really stands out as a sort of anthemic de, 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 de. and other artists around him are just are only operating in here and he's saving that for a big moment towards the end of his chorus it's really cool Speaking of really cool, he's just sitting on the seafront with his hair wet, wistfully singing into the ocean, serenading Neptune himself, but only wearing his underpants. I absolutely love this guy. He's awesome. I mean, that, the way his voice rasps and he has this brilliant, brilliant timbre. And this is, I, I found that some of the stuff on his earlier releases, he was sort of, had a kind of golf ball mouthy way of like he was almost it sounded like he wasn't actually that confident in his lyrics because sort of saying them in a funny way and the accent it wasn't just Glaswegian it was it was something almost indecipherable and you needed to sort of understand the le the lexicon of Capaldi to be able to decipher what he was talking about in his in his earlier songs I I found anyway but this is like this feels like a really confident lead vocal <laughs> and the ecstasy and the euphoria of him showering I mean it's just iconic isn't it so uh, what I love about this video is when you're in a band and you love the people you're working with you always have these conversations like oh let's let's do a shot for shot remake of insert iconic 80s video here um, but Lewis Capaldi hasn't just sat there and talked about it over a few beers he's gone and fucking done it and I really I really respect it. It's just such a great move and really inspiring. And he's done it now, so nobody else can. He owns this. And that's uh, oh, it's inspiring, isn't it? It's just brilliant. I actually think he looks great in all this gear as well. He should definitely do gigs in his pants and this oversized sort of denim blues on thing is working for him as well. I would even go as far as to say that the straw hat he's added because of the sort of shoulder length hair is kind of it's a lot less uh, man from Del Monte and uh, actually adds something rebellious to that uh, aesthetic. I think this looks good on him. After all, it's still right me. Oh, he's doing the shaving as well. Now this reminds me of the Journey video. It's a song called Faithfully, right? In which... Uh, Steve Perry and Journey are, are on the road. There's a lot of sort of aerial shots of the tour bus and then there's a bit when he's sort of staring at his, his own reflection and obviously doing some kind of searching inventory of his own soul before shaving his moustache off. It's a really poignant moment. And uh, Lewis Capaldi is having that as well, but... Uh, I would, I would imagine there's probably just something along the lines of bum fluff here that he's extracting here. Yeah. Although I think that's the only way to improve on Lewis Capaldi is to get a moustache on him. That's it. I mean, I think there's some production decisions and stuff in the, in the recording itself that, that make it difficult for me to really be into this kind of music, to be honest. But um, of the pop guys... I've got to say, Lewis Capaldi is my favourite. It's because of these these uh, stylistic choices that he makes. Um, I like anything that pricks male vanity, and uh, this is a guy that's ruling without, you know, without succumbing to the pitfalls of the metro sexuality <laughs> of it all. You know, this isn't the guy that plucks his eyebrows, and yet he's there at the top of the tree for all to see on the on the strength of his charisma. Um, his songwriting ability, his voice. And these are the things that actually matter, I think. You know, these are the things that make you a star. You know, not looking perfect and pouting all the time. Lewis Capaldi's inspiring. Yeah, this is pretty cool because uh, the, the lyrics quite has some duality in it, really. It's sort of... Um, I don't think he's necessarily asking for the uh, antagonist back in his life, but he seems to be saying that uh, he's pleased to be in their thoughts. Um, and I think he'd be disappointed if he wasn't. So it's kind of like, a, this is an acknowledgement of a, a rampaging ego. 
which is, uh, com- you know, and this rampaging ego is completely undermined by the Club Tropicana reboot. And uh, it's awesome. It really is. That is a really great pop video. Best one I've seen for absolutely ages. Well done, Lewis. If I may call you Lewis. And cheers. Justin Hawkins rides again. Again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and watch one of these two videos. All right.